In today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to independently control the filters on each of Cinema 4D's view panels. The Release 18 viewport is so pretty that more and more I'm working in a completely clean viewport. I want to get rid of all of that UI junk, the splines and the cameras and the lights and the grids and the axes and all of that stuff so that I have something that looks very much like my final render will look. And it's easy to toggle in and out of that with the clean mode plugin that's available here on Cineversity. If I just enable this, you can see all of that stuff that gets in the way of my nice and pretty image. And if I click it again, I get rid of all of that and I've got a nice clean viewport. The problem is, is that when I switch into four way view, I've lost that in my orthographic views as well. And I can't make any changes to my scene. I don't have my axes. I can't see where my camera is. And I want to have all of that junk in my orthographic views, just not in my perspective view. Well, a lot of people don't realize that you can actually adjust the filters on a local basis, but not by default. So to do that, what we need to do is go into the view settings in the attribute manager. And you get there using the configure option here in the options menu of any view panel, or most people simply hit shift V. And once you go there, you want to make sure the filter tab is selected. And here's all of those filters. This list is just the same thing as this list here. It's just in checkbox form. Now I'm just going to simply right click on the null filter here and choose the option to make the parameter local. Now you can see that the null filter is not bolded while all of the others are. And that's how you can tell which of these options are global. Now if you want to make all your parameters local, simply click on the null, shift click on the navigation cross and that will select all of your filters, right click and choose make parameter local. And now you can see that all of our filters are independent for each of the views. Now, once your parameters are local, you can still control multiple filters at the same time. To do that, choose the configure all option from the options menu or hit alt V. You can see that then all four of my view panels are being selected and I can manipulate all of these at the same time. You can also multi-select viewports simply by shift clicking in their title bar. And now you can see here in the attribute manager that my top right and front viewports are enabled and I can control the filters for those three. So this is how you can manipulate your filters independently for each view. Keep your perspective view nice and clean and adjust which specific things you want to see in each of your Cinema 4D views. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like it, share it, and visit Cineversity.com for more great Cinema 4D tutorials and resources.